Hello everyone, my name is Kayun. I'm a PhD student in Brunstetter Lab at Utah State University. And today I'll be discussing UCE phylogenomics and the biogeography of bamboo sensu stricto. As you may know, bumblebees play a crucial role as pollinators for both crops and native plants, contributing significantly to food security. Genus Bombus comprises um, 250 species worldwide in 15 subgenera. But among the subgenera, that are, there are uh, many species that are currently declining in a single subgenus Bombus sensu stricto, such as Bombus terricola, occidentalis, franklini, and affinis. What's particularly interesting is that all of them are American species. So these species are on the red list of pollinator insects of North America, and especially Bombus affinis is classified as an endangered species, and Bombus franklini is considered as putatively extinct. Like these, species from specific lineages may exhibit a higher propensity for decline, and given that phylogenetic history can serve as a good predictor of extinction risk, we decided to conduct this study, which is the phylogeny of Bombus sensu stricto with its associated biogeographic patterns. There are many, uh, mainly two previous studies regarding the phylogeny of genus Bombus, but the previous studies were based on Sanger sequencing data and with broader sampling of genus itself rather than focusing on bombus sensu stricto. And over the time, the utilization of genomic data has become common in the field of bee phylogeny. The common method for constructing phylogenetic trees is to use of ultra-conserved elements, UCEs, which represent highly conserved DNA sequences um, present in the genomes of diverse species. However, there has been no research using UCEs to analyze the phylogeny of bombus sensu stricto. Therefore, we had three objectives for this study. First of all, we focused on constructing the most comprehensive phylogeny of bombus sensu stricto using UCEs with expanded taxon sampling. And then we tried to infer the divergence times and biogeographic um, history of bombus sensu stricto. In terms of the taxon sampling, we selected 11 species for the subgenus Alpinobombus and Pyrobombus because they are closely related subgenera based on previous studies. We try to include as many species as possible for Bombus sensu stricto so that we can have a higher resolution of the phylogeny of this subgenus. And we ended up collecting materials for 20 species as an in-group comprising approximately 83% of the total taxa within this subgenus. As for the DNA extraction, we mainly used the mid legs of the specimens. And after that, we mainly used the UCE pipeline from Zhang et al. Then we use Filucci to demultiplex, clean and align the sequences as well as spruce sap to deal with a long branch attraction. And then we use cure to separate right flank, core, and left flank regions of UCE. To produce the phylogenetic tree, we used IQ tree too. Once that was done, we conducted um, divergence dating using these two. We did second calibration for the divergence dating based on the newest phylogeny from Almeida et al. With this research, we use BioGeoBears for biogeographic bio analysis. So this is the result from IQ tree. So you can see that um, there is a strong support for the monophyly of Bombus sensu stricto. And the tree on the right side of the slide is from the previous study, Cameron et al. And according to their study, the relationship between Bombus affinis and Bombus franklini was unclear due to polytomy. 
but we found that they are nested in the same clade with high support in this study. And in terms of Bombus terricola and Bombus occidentalis, um, also declining species, they were nested in the same clade as previously suggested. So here we can see the result of the biogeographic um, analysis. The numbers displayed on the nodes represent mean ages in millions of years. Our findings indicate that the stem ancestor of Bombus sensus stricto originated approximately 50 million years ago. And Bombus sensus stricto is possibly originated around 7 million years ago in the Palearctic region. They subsequently dispersed um, into multiple ranges, which will be discussed um, in the upcoming slide. So let's discuss their um, dispersal history. As mentioned earlier, Bombus sensus stricto originated about 7 million years ago in the Palearctic region. Following that, we recovered a range expansion from the Palearctic to the oriental region about um, 3.4 million years ago. After that, we found that there was a first disperser event from the oriental to the Nearctic region about 2.1 million years ago. And after the first disperser event from the oriental to the Nearctic region, we found that there was an active range expansion between the continents. Then how did the bumblebees move between the continents? The initial diversification of Bombus and Sustricto from its closely related subgenus Alpinobombus occurred about 15.3 million years ago, which is considered to be in the early Miocene. As mentioned in the previous slide, Bombus and Sustricto originated in the Palearctic area. But there was a connection between the Palearctic and the Arctic regions via the Bering land freeze during the Miocene. So this connection made it possible for intercontinental species exchange to occur. However, about 3.5 million years ago, which is in Pliocene, marine transgression opened the Bering Strait and broke the terrestrial connections between America and Asia. Therefore, it was impossible to move between America and Asia anymore but it was still possible to move between the Palearctic and Oriental regions. So during the Pleistocene glaciations, terrestrial connections between Asia and North America were re-established. Therefore, based on our research, um, we anticipate that the current declining Nearctic species moved um, during the, this period when the continents were reconnected. Lastly, as you can see, during the last glacier maximum, the continental ice sheets covered most of Europe and North America. And this glaciation and associated climate cooling isolated populations in ice-free areas. For example, in Asia, the ice never reached as far south, and Asian species could um, disperse relatively freely into the warmer habitats of the oriental region. So in conclusion, I would like to emphasize a few key findings from this study. Our, finding, uh, our primary objective were to gain a deeper understanding of the phylogeny of Bombus sensus stricto through the use of UCEs and to explore its biogeographical history with divergence dating. So we could successfully generate the phylogeny of Bombus sensus stricto with the most thorough sampling. And we also recovered that they originated about 7 million years ago in the Palearctic area. And the Nearctic species that are currently declining originated in the Pleistocene when America and Asia were reconnected. Now, by knowing the relationship of declining species from America with a better resolution, we hope this study will be used as a backbone in the future studies such as population genomics of the declining species or even broader phylogeny of the genus Bombus. So lastly, I would like to thank everyone who helped uh, my analysis. 
Yeah, so thank you so much for listening and feel free to ask any questions about my study. Thank you so much.